Hey guys, Dr. Childs here. Today we're going to be talking about why some thyroid patients feel worse when they take their prescription medications like levothyroxine and Synthroid. Why on earth would thyroid patients feel worse when they're taking the very medication that is supposed to help them feel better? It's actually not as complicated as you might think. So let's talk about it. In fact, I have three main reasons why this can occur. Number one is probably the most important, but I do need to get out the whiteboard because we have to draw a picture. So as I said, it's not as confusing as it may sound. So just hear me out as we talk about this. The first reason has to do with the fact that, or it has to do with how thyroid medication impacts the normal thyroid system in your body. And really what this is doing is it may be suppressing the amount of T3 that your body is producing naturally. So to, to explain this, let me talk about the normal healthy thyroid physiology. So what normally happens in the healthy thyroid is that you have something called TSH, which stands for thyroid simulating hormone, impacts the thyroid gland to produce both T3 and T4. Now in the healthy state, your thyroid produces about 80% T4 and about 20% well, let's make this a little bigger, 20% T3. So it's producing both at the same time. But what happens when you introduce thyroid medications like levothyroxine and Synthroid? It changes the ratio of how much thyroid hormone is being produced and manufactured by your body because levothyroxine and Synthroid suppress how much TSH is being produced. So what they're effectively doing is shutting down your own body's natural mechanism of producing thyroid hormone. And what they're doing is, and this is what you should understand, is levothyroxine and Synthroid contain only T4, right? So what you are doing is you are shutting down your body's ability to produce T3 and T4, and you're replacing that with 100% T4, because that is what's in the thyroid medication. So levothyroxine and Synthroid both contain only T4 thyroid hormone. As you take them and stick them inside your mouth and inside your body, they feed back to your brain, which is where TSH is produced in the pituitary gland, it drops the pituitary gland, so your body is, your brain is no longer communicating with your thyroid gland. It's no longer telling your thyroid to produce both T3 and T4, and instead, you're replacing both of these with 100% T4. All right, so why is that a problem? Well, it turns out that T3, right, this T3, which we, you're only, your body only produces about 20% of this, but this is about 200 times more active than T4. So what you are doing as you take thyroid medication is you are suppressing the most active thyroid hormone uh, in your body by far, and you're replacing it with T4, which is inactive, okay? So what your body has to do is it has to turn that T4 into T3. And the reason your body produces some T3 um, automatically is because it knows how important that T3 is. So automatically, you know, every day without you thinking about it, in the healthy state, your thyroid is just pumping out a little bit of T3 just so that your tissues and cells can get the amount of T3 that it needs. At the same time, it's producing a pretty big amount of T4, more than it is T3, because it knows that when necessary, your body can draw upon that T4 and convert it into T3 as necessary based on the needs of the cell and you know, whether you're exercising or you know, as necessary if any changes are needed. Now what's happening though is you are replacing that 20% with 100, with another 20% of T4, making it in total 100% T4 production in the body. And your doctor will say, hey, well, uh, I know that this is happening, but we are confident that your body's gonna be able to take that T4 and turn it into T3. But that does not happen for a lot of people. So what ends up occurring is that you're dropping your T3, which is why I say you're suppressing that T3, in favor of more T4, which often results in worse, which often results in you feeling worse, in experiencing more hypothyroid symptoms. So some people will take level thyroxine, they'll take Synthroid, they'll start gaining weight, they'll start having more hair loss, they'll start having worsening symptoms of hypothyroidism, and they'll say, how can this happen? This is it, this is physiology, thyroid physiology 101, this is what occurs in some people. Because it turns out that about 20% of people, they don't convert very well. They can't take that T4 and turn it into T3. So when you give them T4, you're giving them more of the same thing that they can't convert T3 into, and it just makes the problem that much worse, okay? So that's number one, but we're not done yet. There's actually a couple others. So number two is that sometimes there are ingredients inside of the medication which are inactive, which you can have sort of like an allergic reaction to. So we'll call it an allergy. Um, it could kind of be considered a sensitivity because really what's happening is there are some ingredients that are inside of the medication itself, which are not the T4, this is the most active components in, in thyroid medications such as level thyroxine and Synthroid, but they also contain inactive ingredients as well. And one of those ingredients as well, uh, or one of those ingredients is lactose. So lactose itself 
is found inside as an active ingredient in some of these medications. It's prepared that way. And you might be reacting to the lactose. So when you take your medication, you're getting the right hormone, right? In, the, in some cases, it might be right for you, okay? Not everyone, but some people. Let's say you don't have this problem. You take T4 and you might feel better otherwise, but you're putting lactose. And let's say you have lactose intolerance in, you know, that's just something that you have at baseline in your body. So you're sticking the very thing that you react negatively to, negatively to inside of your body in the form of a pill. And you're wondering why you have, you know, various different types of reactions or why you don't feel very well. Now, there are lots of other ones, uh, inactive ingredients, including cellulose and some other um, uh, fillers and binders and things like that, including dyes, by the way. So if you're somebody that has an allergy or doesn't respond well to um, certain types of dyes, this may also be part of the problem. I didn't include all of these in here, but I want you to understand that even though it may have the medication you need, the active ingredient, the inactive ingredient might be causing you to react negatively as well. So you want to pay very close attention to that. Now, we'll talk about solutions here. In fact, let me go back up to number one to talk about that solution. The solution here is to take T3 with your T4, right? It's very simple. Instead of trying to replace 100% of the thyroid lost with um, the thyroid hormone that's inactive, just balance out what it should be normally. So try and get a ratio closer to 20% T3 and 20% T4, and you can do that by combining thyroid medication. So that's the that's solution if you're experiencing problem number one. The, the solution if you're experiencing problem number two is to go and get a cleaner version of thyroid medication. There are lots of cleaner versions of thyroid medications that exist right now um, that, that are devoid of these binders and fillers and dyes that you can just switch to. So if you're not responding very well to let's say level thyroxine, try switching to tyrosine. If you're not responding very well to another type of a brand of NDT, let's say armor thyroid, swi try switching to a different one or try switching to a compounded version of natural desiccated thyroid. There aren't a lot of options for those people who are on NDT, at least right now at the time of this filming. Um, so that may be a little more difficult, but there are always options available if you're on level thyroxine or synthroid. That's number two. Number three is that sometimes your dose may be way, 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 way off. So I want to emphasize the way, way, way. That's what that means here. Because it's usually unlikely that when your doctor puts you on a dose of thyroid medication that let, let's say as close as 75% of the dose that you need, they're never going to get right right away. When your doctor puts you on thyroid medication, it's never going to be the case that that's the dose that you need. Well, I shouldn't say never. It's highly unlikely that let's say your doctor puts you on 100 micrograms of level thyroxine, that that happens to be the dose that you need and you feel great while taking it. It's much more likely that they're gonna give you a dose which is a little bit less or maybe a little bit more and they're gonna tweak it over the coming months and they're finally gonna get something that works for you. But sometimes what they'll do is they'll look at your labs and say, well, your labs aren't that bad, so let's start you on a really low dose. Let's say like, you know, let's say 25 micrograms of level thyroxine. And let's say that you, in reality, needed 150 micrograms. So in this case, your doctor started you on a very, very, very tiny dose, which is causing some suppression of the thyroid gland up top. And then you're just feeling worse automatically because instead of going and getting more thyroid hormone, you're getting less. And it has nothing to do with the T4 to T3 ratio. It just means that your dose is completely off. This does happen. It's not very common. It's much more likely that this number one is impacting you if you're taking thyroid medication and you're feeling poorly and or number two, I would actually say this one is fairly common as well. Number three does happen from time to time. Um, I'll usually hear people and they'll say, hey, my doctor started me on a dose of, I don't know, five micrograms of T3 or 25 micrograms of level thyroxine um, and I started feeling worse, what gives? And I'm like, well, that is an incredibly small dose. So that's probably why that's happening. But again, not very common, but it can occur from time to time. So do keep that in mind. But these are the top three reasons that thyroid patients feel worse when they start thyroid medication. If you have any questions about this or you're trying to figure out where you fall into here, leave a comment or a question below. I'll do my best to answer those questions. If you haven't already, make sure that you download my free thyroid PDF resources. I have tons of information all designed to help thyroid patients like you feel better. And that's all I have for you guys. And otherwise, I will see you in the next one.